Magandang araw mga kasipnayan. Welcome to Sir Ocknix YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to recall how to identify terms using a recursive formula and we are going to identify the general formula of a given sequence. Let's start recalling the types of formula. A recursive formula gives the value of a specific term based on the previous term, while an explicit formula gives the value of a specific term based on the position. Let's identify terms in a recursive formula. Find the first four terms of the sequence a sub n is equal to 4n minus 3. Since we are going to find the first four terms, therefore we will solve for a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. For a sub 1, just substitute 1 by n on the formula. We will then have 4 times 1 minus 3, which is equal to 1. For the second term, substitute n by 2. We therefore have 4 times 2 minus 3, which is equal to 5. For the third term, substitute n by 3. We will have 4 times 3 minus 3, which is equal to 9. And then for the fourth term, substitute n by 4. We will then have 4 times 4 minus 3, which is equal to 13. Therefore, the first four terms of the sequence a sub n is equal to 4n minus 3 are 1, 5, 9, and 13. Let's now identify the general term of an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers such that the difference of any two successive members of the sequence is a constant, which is called as the common difference. As you can see, on the left side of the table, we have an increasing arithmetic sequence, wherein the common difference is positive, which is equal to positive 4, while the right side of the table, we have a decreasing arithmetic sequence, wherein the common difference is negative, which is equal to negative 3. Let's have our first example. Identify the general term of the sequence 7, 14, 21, and 28. We first identify the common difference of the given sequence. The common difference of the given sequence is 7. Since the common difference is 7, let us assume that the given formula would be a sub n is equal to 7n. Substituting n by 1, 2, and 3, 4, which stands for the first of four terms, we will then have for a sub 1, that is 7 times 1, which is equal to 7. For a sub 2, we will have 7 times 2, which is equal to 14. For a sub 3, we will have 7 times 3, which is equal to 21. And for a sub 4, we will have 7 times 4, which is equal to 28. Let us now compare the products to the given sequence. As you can see, that the products of the given sequence are the same as the numbers or terms in the given sequence. Since they are the same, we may now conclude that the formula of the sequence 7, 14, 21, and 28 is a sub n is equal to 7n. Let's have our second example. Identify the general term of the sequence 6, 10, 14, and 18. The common difference of the sequence is positive 4. Since the common difference is positive 4, let us assume that the general term is given by the formula a sub n is equal to 4n. Let us now solve for the first four terms of the given formula. We will have a sub 1 equals 4 times 1, which is equal to 4. For a sub 2, we will have 4 times 2, which is equal to 8. 
For a sub 3, we will have 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. And for a sub 4, we will have 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. As you can see, 4, 8, 12, and 16 is different from the terms of the sequence, which is 6, 10, 14, and 18. So what are we going to do is to identify numbers to be added or subtracted to the product so that the result will be the same as the numbers of the sequence. What number is to be added by 4 so that the result will be 6? You just add 2 to make it 6. What number is to be added to 8 so that the result would be 10? Plus 2 will have positive 10. 2 should be added to 12 so that the third term would be 14. And for the fourth term, you just add 2 to 16 so that the result would be 18. The sums are now the same as the terms of the given sequence. So since we add 2 to all the terms, we therefore conclude that the general formula of the sequence is equal to a sub n equals 4n plus 2. Let's have our third example. Identify the general term of the sequence 3, 8, 13, and 18. The common difference of this sequence is positive 5. Since the common difference is positive 5, let us assume that the formula is equal to a sub n equals 5n. Solving for the first four terms of the given formula, we will have a sub 1 equals 5 times 1, which is equal to 5. a sub 2 equals 5 times 2, which is equal to 10. a sub 3 is equal to 5 times 3, which is equal to 15. And a sub 4 is equal to 5 times 4, which is equal to 20. As you can see, the products are different from the given sequence. So let us identify what to do to make the, the products the same as the given sequence. Subtract 2 from 5 so that the first term will be equal to 3. Subtract 2 from 10 and that will be positive 8. Subtract 2 from 15, we will then have positive 13, subtract 2 from 20, we will then have positive 18. The sums are now the same. The sequence is 3, 8, 13, and 18. Since we subtract 2 from the product, we will then assume that a sub n is equal to 5n minus 2. Let's have our third example. Identify the general term of the sequence 3, negative 1, negative 5, and negative 9. The common difference of the new sequence is negative 4. Since the common difference is negative 4, let us assume that the general formula will be a sub n is equal to negative 4n. Solving for the first four, first four terms, of the sequence, we will have a sub 1 is equal to negative 4 times 1, which is negative 4. a sub 2 is equal to negative 4 times 2, which is equal to negative 8. a sub 3 is equal to negative 4 times 3, which is equal to negative 12. And a sub 4 is equal to negative 4 times 4, which is equal to negative 16. The products are different from the given sequence. So let us identify what to be added or subtracted to the product so that the sum or the results will be the same as the terms of the given sequence. What number is to be added or subtracted to negative 4 to make it positive 3? Negative 4 plus 7 is equal to positive 3. Negative 8 plus 7 is equal to negative 1. Negative 12 plus 7 is equal to negative 5. And negative 16 plus 7 is equal to negative 9. The results are now the same as the sequence. 3, 
negative 1, negative 5, and negative 9. We therefore conclude that the formula in finding the general term of the sequence will be a sub n is equal to negative 4n plus 7. Let's have our last example. Identify the general term of the sequence 7, 10, 13, and 16. The common difference of the sequence is positive 3. We will then assume that the general formula of the sequence is equal to a sub n equals 3 times n. Solving for the first four terms of the formula, we will have a sub 1 is equal to 3 times 1, which is equal to 3, a sub 2 equals 3 times 2 equals 6, a sub 3 equals 3 times 3 equals 9, and a sub 4 equals 3 times 4 equals 12. Since the product of the terms is different from the terms of the sequence, let us now identify what numbers are to be added or subtracted to the product so that the result will be the same as the terms of the given sequence. What number is to be added to 3 so that it will be 7? That's 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Same thing on our second term. We need to add 4 to make that equal to 10. 9 plus 4, that is equal to 13. And 12 plus 4 is equal to 16. Since the sum are the same as the terms of the sequence, we therefore conclude that the formula in finding the general term of the given sequence is equal to a sub n equals 3n plus 4. Try to solve this individually. Identify the general term of the sequence 2, negative 1, negative 4, and negative 7. Do not forget to pause the video while you are answering the activity. I think you are now done on answering this activity. Let us try to check whether your answer is correct. Identify the general term of the sequence 2, negative 1, negative 4, and negative 7. The common difference of the sequence is negative 3. We will then assume that the general term is given by the formula a sub n is equal to negative 3 times n. Solving for the first four terms based on the given formula, we will have a sub 1 equals negative 3 times 1, which is equal to negative 3. a sub 2 equals negative 3 times 2 equals negative 6. a sub 3 is equal to negative 3 times 3, which is equal to negative 9. And a sub 4 equals negative 3 times 4, which is equal to negative 12. Since the product is different from the terms of, of the given sequence, let us now identify what number is to be added to negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, and negative 12 so that the result will be 2, negative 1, negative 4, and negative 7 respectively. That is, negative 3 plus 5 equals 2, negative 6 plus 5, that's equal to negative 1, negative 9 plus 5 is equal to negative 4, and negative 12 plus 5, which is equal to negative 7. We therefore conclude that the general formula of the given sequence is given by a sub n is equal to negative 3n, plus 5. Thank you for watching Sir Ocnick's YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Again, always have fun learning math. 
Enjoy learning. Thank you and God bless.